Imagine you've just moved into an apartment building. You come home one evening and you find you've forgotten your key. You call the building emergency contact. Oh yes, they can come and let you in, in about an hour. It'd be nice if you'd swap keys with someone in the building, or even if you could just go and swap locked out stories for an hour. In 2016, around half a million people lived in large private apartment buildings in Sydney. Almost 70,000 of these apartment dwellers lived alone. Many had only recently moved in, and one in five had been living overseas five years before. Relationships can take time to develop. This means that in their local area, people may not have anyone they can chat to or anyone they can call on for help. Local relationships can be especially important for people living alone or for newcomers to a city. And they're also helpful when you need to work together with other residents to make decisions for your building. But how do you get to know your apartment neighbours? That's where my research comes in. While your personality obviously has an impact, these relationships are generally built upon chance interactions in shared spaces, like the lift, the lobby, the plaza, the cafe. How people use these spaces can therefore have a great impact on whether they get to know each other. Do they pass through quickly? Do they hang around by the pool? Is it normal to say hi to a stranger? And really, how do you know what's normal, especially across cultures? I'm asking apartment residents these questions and analysing the design of shared spaces to see how they encourage people to use them and to interact or not. The type of relationship is important though too. When you're living in a large apartment building, you're living very close with a lot of people. So you want the option of maintaining a friendly distance or making a few friends if you want. So along with looking at the built environment, I'm asking people what's good and bad about these relationships and how they're maintained at a cordial level. My research will produce a set of ideas around apartment and local area design to support these cordial relationships. So apartments can be more interesting, comfortable places to live, reducing resident turnover and making the most of these spaces. And so when you do forget your key, you'll have people to fall back on. Thank you.